hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome 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 thank you so much to everyone who has recently subscribed to all my viewers i say big thank you and i hope that you can share my videos like and if you love them subscribe if you have not and share if you are not as well welcome back hello guys first what do you think about my hair yeah well i'm i'm quite happy about the growth of my hair because it's <laughs> it's been such a hassle but anyways so welcome back to my channel this is the most he experienced my life as a phd student um in this video what i want to do is to first talk about some of the things you need to plan for and to have with you if you're coming to the u.s but first i want to give a special shout out to my friend and my former student she sent me this bonnet um it's what's even the name of the designer yeah it's from isoke enofe i don't know if i pronounced that right but like i think this she, i don't know i was just really happy because i got home last night and then i got this package you know it was a beautiful day a way to end the day so i'm so grateful thank you so much and this is what it looks like i think like this this is my first bonnet that i would have and like oh my god it's so good yeah it's it's wonderful beautiful and yeah it covers you know the circumference of my head and my hair is all protected i cannot wait for my hair to start popping and stuff so i'm super super excited about this thank you so much i think i'm just yeah i think i'm just going to wait for this video <laughs> or whatever okay i'm back so i decided to do this video with my hair anyways so in this video what i want to talk about is basically some of the things that you should put in mind um if you're traveling to the u.s and when you're preparing um this is not an exhaustive list but this is mostly for you know africans nigerians and and so on like that may want to take you know food stuff and all that all those kind of things that and you don't want to be stopped when i was coming to the u.s i was able to pack a whole lot of food stuff like a whole box like i put my food stuff in and i wasn't stopped but then there were some people that had put took some food items that you know they were stopped and some of them were seized so what did i do that made me scale through that process that's what i'm going to tell you in this video okay so first first i think the first thing to say is congratulations that you got your visa because it's a hectic process yeah we all know it's crazy and it's a lot to be grateful for if you have your visa so that's a big deal um the second thing i would say is you should obviously start preparing to travel right and when preparing to travel you need to plan for you know um the kind of luggage you're going to get um you also need to plan for what you're going to put in your bags now one thing to note is depending on the airline although for most international airlines you have the opportunity to take um to go in with two check-in bags which should be 23 kg each right and you also have the opportunity to go in with one carry-on and one personal item so i'm going to show you the pictures now so that you can see
okay so next after doing that you have your bags and you have your carry-on one another important thing before getting the bags actually is to go to the website of the airline that you've you know uh that you purchase your tickets from right and go to check what their regulations are in terms of the bag size the carry-on size and so on and so forth um usually i am not sure but i'm going to put in a picture just for you to see the size limit and descriptions for carry-on bags but for personal items it's usually a backpack or handbag or whatever but just make sure you don't put too much load in it that it becomes so conspicuous now the next thing i would like you to you know note is if just in case of in case it as one of my friends would say you should put you know some a change of clothes or so in your carry-on bag don't put all your clothes in your check-in bag because anything could happen you could land in the u.s and your your check-in bag would be in uh, germany or in another country so you want to really be wary of this so just make sure that you have a change of clothes in your carry-on bag or in your personal item all right so after this before you start buying food stuff and all i would advise you to go to the tsa regulation their website which you're going to see
sure you've seen some of the regulations that they have in terms of food stuff in terms of um the kind of food and uh, materials basically that you can have in your check-in bags right they also talk on that website they also talk about um the kind of yeah, yeah the kind of locks that you can use they have to be tsa approved and basically you need to align with this because when you are traveling to the us your luggage is going to be checked now i have a tip for you so if you travel to the us and you travel in through atlanta make sure you don't put momo maggi meat um or fada rice in your checking luggage because trust me there's a dog that will perceive it and that's that's the end of the road for your food stuff so take note of that however if you're traveling in through miami or new york it's possible for you to take in um what's the name some of these items they will not be seized okay now one thing you should do when you're packing your items i'm going to show you what i use to pack my food items now this is an example of what i used to pack my food items this is a zip lock bag so as you can see this is gary inside this zip lock bag and basically what these tsa people want is that they want to see that you put in your food stuff in clear bags and that they are appropriately labeled let me show you how i labeled mine So you can see where I, I used a paper tape and I wrote Gary cassava, right? So basically that's what I did with all my food stuff. I took dried fish, mala, smoked fish, different types of fish. Um I took iru, that's locust beans. I took a lot of stuff that I read and this this food stuff that i took i read the tsa guidelines first before i started packing this stuff because i did not want a situation where they were going to seize any of my load in fact i packed so much food stuff as i said it was in a whole box a full box that like whenever when i got to my final destination the way i was able to identify my box boxes rather was you know from the aroma of the stockfish yeah and iru yeah i was able to take in stockfish uh, ola ola yam different stuff so like you can take this stuff but you really need to read through the tsa guidelines to see okay what are those things that they don't want you to see they don't want to have i know they don't like momo which is animal skin um yeah and i know liquid is a no-no yeah in your carry-on now your carry-on as i said is the small one which and i've shown you a sample of what it looks like so they do not want liquid in your carry-on if you're going to have liquid in your carry-on they call something there's a rule called 311 where it has to be you know something small it has to be liquid of about 1.5 ounce in a small bottle so that's what they would allow you to take so in case you want to take a perfume and all stuff like that make sure it's in a small bottle your liquid um wash for example make sure it's in a small bottle you could buy travel size you know um soap and um cream lotion right you could buy it just to be safe right but make sure anything liquid has to be in a small bottle you know yeah so that's it and what else yeah so they don't want liquid but you can have be a bigger lotion bigger perfume and stuff in your um check-in luggage that's totally fine one thing that i know they don't like is palm oil yep they don't like people bring coming in with palm oil if you're going to take palm oil with you it has to be frozen and trust me how yeah imagine you have to travel for like 24 hours or something 
the palm oil definitely won't be frozen by the time you get to the u.s and by that time that's where they're going to check your luggage and then they're going to mm -hmm, remove the palm oil we traveled all the way from nigeria to the u.s so mm -hmm. yeah you uh, it's better that you do not waste your money basically yeah so if you are now when you now after buying this stuff you bought your stuff and everything voila you're set you know that what you have is in line with the tsa regulations the next thing for you to do is to make sure you have all your documents intact if you are a student they're going to ask for your i-20 you know all those important documents some i'm not sure but i i wasn't asked but some may ask you for admission letter i'm not so sure but the reason for you um the reason that you should have your documents handy should be in a file with you is because at but i think both when you are leaving and then at the port of entry in the us they're going to ask for this doc these documents okay and when you you know I, although i'm still going to come to when you are in, uh, on the plane in the plane rather but like when you get to the port of entry you want to have that document with you those documents those important documents your passport your tickets and um your i-20 if you're a student i don't know about other passengers because some people are actually turned away or turned back when they get to the port of entry which is a pathetic story so we ho hopefully that won't happen you know but you just have to be safe better to be safe than sorry so like when you get to the port of entry you want to have those documents handy and sometimes you could be interviewed by the officer there so like be as pleasant as possible i know it's been a long ride perhaps you spent like um maybe 10 hours that's the least or more on the plane so you could be tired and exhausted but just try as much as possible to you know have a good demeanor and to respond to their questions appropriately now when you're in the plane one thing i would advise you to do is to have a sweater with you because it could be really cold you know in the plane and although they will give you a blanket but it's fairly fairly like it's not very thick blanket so you want to have a sweater or a jacket with you that would make you feel warm basically yeah so i think that is all for now yeah this is all i've got for you know in terms of pre-travel and you know when you land but yeah i would really appreciate if you could let me know in the comment section some of these things that i may probably have missed out that are important for any traveler going to the us yeah so that's all i have today thank you thank you thank you for sticking with me to this point i'm so so grateful if you have not please subscribe i would really appreciate it make sure you like my video and make sure you also drop a comment thank you until next time